हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सेकंड न्यूमेरिकल टेक्निक फॉर सॉल्विंग इनिशियल वैल्यू प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस नेम ऑफ दिस मेथड इज यूलर्स मॉडिफाइड मेथड दिस मेथड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रुंगी कुट्टा मेथड ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर नोट दैट एज द नेम सजेस्ट this method is better or extended version of the eulers method it helps us to find better approximate value of every yi obtained using eulers method now let me show you how to use this method consider a first order differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y with initial condition x is equal to x not and y is equal to y not then by eulers method value of the solution of this differential equation at point x is equal to x1 is given by y1 is equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 y0 we have seen this formula in my previous video link of that video is given in the description box now after this point eulers modified method comes into the picture by eulers modified method we find better approximate values of y1 obtained by eulers method according to eulers modified method first better approximate value of y1 is given by the formula y11 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y1 note that this y11 represents first better approximate value of y1 after this second better approximate value of y1 is given by y12 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y11 look at the pattern in these two formulas this y0 remains same this h by 2 is also remains same even f of x0 y0 is also same now here there is a small change instead of f of x1 y1 we are taking f of x1 y11 this y11 is obtained in the previous step here so whatever value of y11 you are getting from this formula we are going to substitute it over here similarly here you are finding f of x1 y1 this y1 is obtained using eulers method here in this step so whatever answer you are getting for y1 by eulers method we will put it over here to find its better version now you must have guessed the third better approximate value of y1 is given by y13 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y12 this y12 is obtained in the previous step we continue this process now you might ask me until when we have to continue this process or when to stop finding further better approximate values of y1 so the answer is we continue this process of finding better approximate values of y1 until we see that values of y1 in two successive iterations is matching up to desired accuracy that means if you see that value of y1 at third iteration and fourth iteration is matching up to few decimal places then you can stop finding further better approximate values of y1 and say that the value obtained in the fourth iteration is correct up to few decimal places now what is after finding better approximate value of y1 that means after stopping the process of finding further better approximate of values of y1 what to do so the answer is if necessary we will go for finding y2 at corresponding x2 using eulers method according to eulers method y2 is obtained using formula y1 plus h into f of x1 y1 once we obtain y2 we continue the process using eulers modified method of finding better approximate values of y2 
formulas of better approximate values of y2 are same as they were in better approximate values for y1. Let us see an example to understand this concept. Here we are asked to use Euler's modified method to find the value of y satisfying dy by dx is equal to log of x plus y with initial condition y of 1 is equal to 2 at x is equal to 1.2 and at x is equal to 1.4 taking h is equal to 0 0.2. Let's write this solution. First of all, we'll note down the given data. Here, f of x comma y is log of x plus y. h given is 0 0.2. x naught is 1, y naught is 2. And at x is equal to 1.2, first of all, we have to find the value of this solution. Since x naught is 1, x naught plus h is 1.2. So this x value is nothing but x1 and of course this value of x is x2. So let us first find out y1 at x1. By Euler's method, y1 at x1 is given by y naught plus h into f of x naught y naught. As x1 is 1.2, y1 will be given by y naught that is 2 plus h that is 0.2 into f of x naught y naught. This f of x naught y naught can be calculated by substituting x is equal to x naught and y is equal to y naught in this definition of f. Assume we got this answer for that. Then after simplifying this, we get value of y1 as 2.2197. This is the value of y1 that we got using Euler's method. After this point, we have to take help of Euler's modified method to find better approximate values of y1. According to Euler's modified method, first better approximate value of y1 is given by y11 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y1. y0 is familiar to us, it is 2, it is given in the question. h is also given in the question, it is 0.2 f of x0 y0 we have already calculated while calculating y1. So 1.0986 will go here. Plus here we have to write value of f of x1 y1. x1 is 1.2 and y1 is 2.2197. We will put these values of x1 and y1 in the definition of f of x comma y. So after calculation we get y11 as 2.2328. Now we calculate second better approximate value of y1. It is given by this formula. y12 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y11. We just found y11, this one. So let us substitute values in this and by calculator we will calculate it. So we see y12 is 2.2332. Check that there is only small difference between y11 and y12. These two answers are matching up to two decimal places. So you can say that this answer 2.2332 is correct up to two decimal places. We'll find out now third better approximate value of y1. It is given by the formula y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y12. This was our y12. So after substituting the values, we get y13 to be 2.2332, a jackpot. Check what is y12 and y13. Both the values are matching up to four decimal places. So we stop the process of further finding better approximate values of y1. That is, we will not go for finding y14 because these two successive iterations gives us the same value. Therefore, we say that value of y1 is 2.2332 and this value is correct up to four decimal places. So this is the value of y at x is equal to 1.2. Now we'll see how to find out value of y at x is equal to 1.4. By the way, this value of x is x2.
let us calculate y2 at x2 using Euler's method. By Euler's method, y2 is given by y1 plus h into f of x1 y1. Let us substitute this better approximate value of y1 here in this formula. So here we will substitute 2.2332, h is 0.2, f of x1 y1 that is f of 1.2 comma 2.2332 so after substitution we get this statement we use calculator to calculate this we get y2 as 2.4799 now let us use Euler's modified method to find better approximate values of y2 the first better approximate value of y2 is given by y1 plus h by 2 into f of x1 y1 plus f of x2 y2. Let us substitute values of x1 y1 x2 y2 h and y1 here. And using calculator we see value of y2 1 is 2.4921. Similarly we go for y2 2 that is second better approximate value of y2. It is given by y1 plus h by 2 into f of x1 y1 plus f of x2 y2 1 y21 is obtained over here this is the value of y21 we substitute all these values and using calculator we calculate we see y22 is 2.4924 look at the difference between these two better approximate values of y2 they are matching up to three decimal places we should try one more better approximate value so we go for calculation of y23 y23 is defined as y1 plus h by 2 into f of x1 y1 plus f of x2 y2 2. After substitution, we see y23 is 2.4924. Now check that value of y2 in these two successive iteration is matching up to four decimal places. So we stop finding further better approximate values of y2 and we say that y2 is equal to 2.4924 and this value is correct up to four decimal places and this value of y2 is at x is equal to 1.4 i hope you understood all the steps involved in this solution let me show you one more example here we are asked to use euler's modified method to find the value of y satisfying dy by dx is equal to x plus 3y with initial condition y of 0 is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 0.05 taking h is equal to 0 0.05 in solution we first of all note down the given data here f of x comma y is x plus 3y x naught is 0 y naught is 1 and h is 0 0.05 so after adding h in x naught we are getting 0 0.05 so this value of x is x1 according to Euler's method at x is equal to x1 y1 is given by y0 plus h into f of x0 y0 let us substitute y0 here y0 is 1 h is 0.05 and f of x0 y0 is nothing but f of 0 comma 1 f of 0 comma 1 can be obtained using this definition of f so we ultimately see value of y1 is 1.15. So this is the value of y1 obtained using Euler's method. Now after this point we use Euler's modified method to get better approximate values of y1. According to Euler's modified method, first better approximate value of y1 is given by y11 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y1. All these values are known to us y0, h, x0, x1, y1. Let's substitute these values. So we get y11 as 1.1625. Now we go for second better approximate value of y1. Second better approximate value of y1 is given by y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0, y0 plus f of x1, y11. We just calculated y11. Let us substitute all these values. We get this statement. 
Now after calculating this using calculator, we get y12 to be 1.1635. Check that these two values of y1 are matching up to two decimal places. Let's find one more better approximate value of y1. That is y13. It is given by this formula. Then we substitute corresponding values and calculate it using calculator. We see y13 to be 1.1635. Now check that these two values of y1 in this successive iterations are matching up to four decimal places. So we stop finding further better approximate values of y1 and say that 1.1635 is the value of y1 and is correct up to four decimal places. Therefore, required solution of this differential equation at 0.05 is 1.1635. I hope you understood this solution too. Now it is your turn to solve the questions. I have two DIY questions for you. The corresponding answers are also written below so that you can tally your answers. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these questions or not. Also circulate this video among your friends so that they can also take the benefit of this. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.